Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Welcome along. Welcome along. B.A. Yeah, Joseph, what's up, dude? A.B., what's up? Welcome along. Major Tom. <clears throat> Patience, my young fellow. Dreamweaver, what's up, man? Welcome along. Durant. Welcome, 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 everyone. Nathan Bunch. How you doing? Robert. Nice. Good to see you too, sir. Samuel. Hello there. Sam, dude. Thank you for the six months. That's awesome. Sam, man, where have you been? Haven't heard from you for ages. Been worried. Um, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Uh, I'm going to apologise straight away. Because... <clears throat> uh, I've got a sore throat, so uh, I may not talk as much today, or I may just break out into fits of coughing. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try our best, but you know that's the sort of state that I'm in today. Hey, <laughs> are all the throat sweets I've gone through today? Yeah, all but one. <laughs> Good stuff. Anyway, so I do apologise if the occasional cough or whatever sneaks through. I will try and shield you guys from that. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to try and press on anyway. Um, Warcraft Classic, that's where you've been, you bastard. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, Dewey Nui, what's up, dude? Welcome along. Hey, hey. Vinegar, how you doing? Joel and Queen. Oh, I can't pronounce that name. I'm just going to call you Joel. Uh, I think this is the first one I've been able to make live. Welcome, welcome. Glad you can make it, dude. What are you going to build? Well, I'm going to continue building this monstrosity in front of us right here. Um, which is a cargo SV that is borderline insane. No, no, no. It is just insane. There's no borderline about it. It's flat out madness. Um, dream of, I'm not here to listen to you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> Always count on you. Dura, dude. Thank you for the $2, man. That's awesome. Woo woo. I'm just getting over a cold, no worries. Alright, Joel, yeah, you knew what you see. Joel's got my back dream. You, yeah, unsympathetic bastard. Uh, when is the next Project Eden coming out? Tuesday, my friend. Uh, the last episode of the Volcanoid series is coming out tomorrow. Um, so Tuesday will be Project Eden, all the way up to Friday will be Project Eden, and then next week, Monday to Friday, will be Project Eden. So you'll get more Project Eden as of next week. Well, you're getting one project in this week, actually, because Friday was Vulcanoids before as well. But now that's finished and out of the way, we can focus on that, which is cool. Um, Pancola, dude. Um, you had Thursday and Friday not feeling good. Good evening to you too, Pancola. Hope you're feeling better. Um, usually I'm an hour behind. Can you turn a base into a CV? Uh, yeah, if you basically take the core out of the base, copy the entire thing and then paste it onto a CV core. You have to do it creative. Uh, and then you'll have to figure out whatever blocks that are exclusive to a base you need to remove, otherwise you know, it won't function. Uh, madness is turning on weights and volumes. First time I've done it on Project Eden playthrough. Hell yes, man, that's not madness. That is hardcore. That is the way it's supposed to be. Um, you're not You're not really pushing yourself unless you've got weights and volumes on, in my opinion. Merlin and Chaos, what's up, dude? Welcome along. Uh, yeah, so this thing. <clears throat> uh, yeah, <laughs> this is just mad. So each one of these cargo modules is 32,000. There are 10 of them, which means this equals to 320,000 SUs of storage, which is the equivalent of one CV. Uh, container, full container module, and uh, <laughs> it's that big as a result. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like I said, it's insane. It's just a bit of fun. It's just a bit of fun. Sometimes it's good to just build something crazy. Um, there's no pressure really on it. You know what I mean? If there's if it's insane and you know it's insane, whatever. It's just a bit of fun. So. Let's whack on your symmetry mode. The green. Oh yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> it's not long enough, is it? <laughs> I forgot about that. Let's put it here then. There we go. It's still not long enough. Okay, well I'm going to leave it there because we're not going to do anything to the front. 
at this point. So, I hope you had fun losing last night. Oh yeah, I had infinite fun lagging out and not being able to do anything. It was great. <laughs> um, Spanish, how's it going? Jodo, I'm okay. Bit of a sore throat, like I said a minute ago. But we'll uh, try and press through. The piping will come, Dreamweaver. Do not fear. The piping will come. Um, we're not quite ready for piping yet. But we will be. What I need to do today is uh, get the rear section and side thrust sorted. We've got lots of up. We've got reverse. We've got, well, I'm going to remove these, but we've got forward. We don't have sideways and we don't have down yet. Merlin, was that your first PvP experience? Well, it's nice being on the winning side, isn't it? As a first experience, it is nice being on the winning side. Yeah, it was. Um, we had we had plenty of tactics. The tactics weren't the problem, so we couldn't execute them because of uh, the lag, really. Can go I want a bit of overlap between these engines and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step them out if I can get it to line up that is Oh. Can you go down a block? There you go. Oh, I've done that wrong. Look. <laughs> That's what I meant to do there. block gap between the two. There we go. Uh, so there. there. She could be a wide ass girl. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sorry, I'm me crunching on a cough sweet. Sorry. I forget that it's um in my mouth and there's a microphone right here. So that must be quite loud for you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> AC Blazer, what's up, dude? Welcome along. Uh, about Joseph, dude, thank you for the $5. That's amazing. Uh, are you going to use this as series? No, mate. <laughs> it's pretty silly for an SV to be this big, honestly. At some point, it just becomes more efficient to use CV. Yeah, but there's no fun. <laughs> you need to move sideways, just mash the other go button. Yeah, man. Add more cowbell. How much weight will this thing lift? We don't know yet. <laughs> I kind of need to finish the sort of mechanical bits um, so that we can actually test it. <clears throat> At the moment, I have no idea uh, if it can even lift. Uh, say if we fill this all up with combat steel. There's a lot of thrusters on there. There's a lot, but I don't know if it will or not. I think, uh, Dream, you did a bunch of testing on, on that sort of question line of questions, didn't you? I don't know what you found. I think you made it an SV, but this was before they revised a lot of the weights and volumes, actually, to the, to the truth. This is not going to work, is it? Because that's three blocks along. There isn't a slope that's three blocks along. Uh, looks more like a CV, not an SV. Good morning, Spanish. Jaguar, dude, welcome along. I'm consistently sleepwalking through life. <laughs> welcome. Good morning, everybody that's just woken up. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Greetings from Narnia. It seems like college stabilized the weekly program and I cannot attend your streams if I want to wake up in time. So good night, Switch. Good night, Lefteris. Thanks for popping in, dude. <laughs> what if you staggered them front to back like a cool Cadillac tail fin? One minute. Yeah, I'm going to stick with this for now. That's a cool suggestion, though. I don't know if I'd be able to do it justice. I suppose that's the main main reason. Um, what I'm going to might have to do here is something weird. 
I know, I know, I know. Bear with. Um... Trying to figure this out. Like, good shape around these engines. It's not easy to do. Not sure if I reverse the polarity. <laughs> I reverse the polarity. It's kind of an orc shape. I don't know. Not a good shape, not a good shape. Okay, we'll try something a little bit more tradish, I think. Um, obviously want the engine's features to be a feature. Um. <clears throat> so maybe just something like that. Boring, that's all. Shapes go. Uh, you on? Nailed it! <laughs> Thingy things, dude. Thank you for the follow. Oh, hell. Sig, dude. Sig, man, how's it going? Thank you for the $20, uh, dollars, dude. That's amazing. Welcome back. I haven't seen you for a while. I'm good, mate. I'm good. I'm just, um, yeah, like I said, I'm suffering from a bit of a sore throat, but I'm okay. I'll make it work. You know me. <laughs> but yeah, dude, good to see you. Thank you very much again uh, for the $20, dude. That's amazing. What am I doing? <laughs> mm. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is, uh, Red Baron, what's up, dude? Welcome along. Uh, a good evening to you, sir. Dream Week. Yep, you're making something that wouldn't take off from the time I tested last. But new changes may be good. I used about 300 jets to get four full-size boxes off the ground. Oh, damn. It looks really weird. <laughs> How much does this game cost on Steam? Um, I think it was $15 last time I checked. This is not a huge amount. Oh, $20. Uh, £15, $20. There you go, dude. Uh, you should leave them open and naked. Mm, naked. Yeah, I thought about the nakedness. Um, talking about the jet engines here, don't get excited. Because what you can do with that... The, the thing with the, the nakedness... Naked. Is... Is the gaps. So, with these the way they are... And I could rotate them. It's not a bad idea, actually. Just, just got to put up with the MS Titan in a second. <laughs> I'm alive for diagnostic scan. Oh, well done. Um, I wonder if that'll work. Behave, come on. That might work. So I want a bit of hull overarching that's the same sort of slopage. Um, complement this this engine setup and obviously have some landing gears on the sides here as well for it to stabilize parking uh, yeah and you need these blocks to really complement these engines more than anything um, <clears throat> yeah it's been busy summer should get back to normal soon all right sig nice one dude yeah welcome back dude always a pleasure to have you in the channel my friend yeah, see that? What do I do there? I'll just do that. You see what I mean? It's funny gaps. Funny, funny gaps. Hmm. 
Dragon House, what's up, dude? Cheers, everyone. I finally got the uh, logics done on my CV overhaul. Got it to work the way I want it to, at least. Thanks to everyone on Discord. Any sales band? You're welcome, Dragon House. Glad you got okay. Uh, thingy thing, hey, joined your Discord yesterday. I'm gonna keep up with your stream. Yeah, man. Welcome. Kithid, what's up, dude? Welcome along. Johnny. It needs more lag armor. <laughs> uh, Caro Prado, what's up, dude? Loose! Naked engines with clamps. Yeah, see? Clampy clamps. Alright. Keep it clean. <laughs> what have we got in here that maybe we could use as clamping? See, these things look clampy. I don't know. It's a tricky one, isn't it? Because the way I laid them out as well doesn't actually help me. It's, um... It's more of a hindrance. <laughs> Standard. Standard. Um, hmm. Let's try some basic shaping here. Ah, damn. Because again, it's three, three blocks, isn't it? So I could do the wavy one, but then it quite obviously quickly becomes wavy. Do that. Shift key is not working very well. So you use a three block slope and there you see like it's curve on curve on curve 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 curve. It's like a wavy curve. Wavy wavy wavy. Which isn't necessarily the end of the world. It's not a flat surface. Not that I like flat surfaces anyway, I've always got to change them up. <clears throat> Another option is you do the stagger in and you just embrace the stagger. <laughs> embrace the stagger. It's like a drunk night out. <laughs> embrace it. Um, <laughs> I know. Nice. Need more angles in this game, yes, please. Yeah, more progressive sloping would be good. Like five, like two, three, five, and six, I think would be a good. Bender bomb, dude. Thank you very much for the six months, man. That's amazing. Love the content. Keep it up, brother. Will do, man. You guys keep turning up. I'll keep knocking it out. Or something. Uh, nah. Let's get some wings in here. Let's see what we can do with these as well. Wing blocks. Wing blocks. Modules. This is going to... Hello. Hello. There we go. This is going to really annoy me. I think all stream <laughs> is going to take all stream to figure this out. Where's the bendy ones? The ones that go on an angle. These are all straight. Oh, there we go. Now, um, there's no straight up ones that go up an angle, is there? They're all progressively angled. Oh, you bastard. They don't really connect either. They're very disconnected. It's going to have to be blocks. Um, but yeah, I'm not quite sure. Okay, well, I've got an idea. Right, let's let's try this. Let me take these out a second. I figure, right, the ship's got to have landing gears. Sorry, runny nose. <clears throat> ship's got to have landing gears, All right? So I may as well build down the edge of the wing to create that landing gear, right? Kind of like a quarter wing from the Reaver's Fate. Yeah? Uh, this might mean I have a lot of blocks here, but let's test. Where are we? We need another. I think that is there. So 
that's an extra block and that's so two blocks or oh, we get a landing gear that's two blocks landing gear can we get the the big one big ones yeah something like this badger see he's only one block so Bingo. Alright. That should be. Stop it. And then yeah, we need we need something to come down that side as well. But we can do we can do thin blocks on there, so it keeps keeps a relative shape. Alright. Possibly on to something. Possibly. The other idea I had was rotating that last one, but I think that'll look weird. Yeah, so... Dude, Major Tom, dude, thank you very much for the five dollars. That is awesome! You guys are on it today. I love it. Dushar, dude, thank you for the sub as well. Amazing. Raptor spans you're the best. Thank you, Raptor. <laughs> Shucks. Uh, feels. Was not expecting that. Um, can can you brief me on what is this game about? Well, it's like Lego in space. Uh, <laughs> I suppose. If I had to describe it to anyone, I would. Yeah, I'd describe it thus. Think about Lego. And then put it in space. Um. And then, yeah, you can build build lots of ships. You can build hover vessels, fighters, bases. Um, and then the, the core game is actually all about survival. Uh, but, yeah. For me, the, the fun part is building spaceships. Do I want... Embrace the curvy curve there, which is dangerous. Because <clears throat> I want the landing gear to look kind of robust, but also not to look too bulky at the same time, compared to you got this nice curve here that we're going to have. So I don't want to just like start loading crap load of blocks down. So I'm going to bring this back in. Not that far in. Behave. Stop it. That one. You are trying my patience game. <clears throat> um, and then... Let's think about this. We want... We want some connected and some not. So like that. And then... these engines, you know, they're big barrel engines, they need to appear to be attached properly, right? Otherwise, all hell is going to break loose. So, reinforced, reinforced. Connecting, connecting. Let's do something funky here. Funky! <laughs> We need, <clears throat> excuse me, we need some curviness coming back up, off top of these engines. Oh, but you know what? Look at these vents, though. The details on these engines, like, it'd be such a shame to mess with that. Let's 
try and use these flat areas as much as possible. <sighs> Ain't gonna be easy though. whole block there, I don't know how we're going to do that. Yeah. It's that, it's this, this little gap here, it's really annoying. So the other option is what we do is instead of trying to connect it physically with blocks, we connect just connect it to the engine using something like these ones. So that physical connection. Noise. Dude, Brandon, thank you for the uh, the pledge on Patreon, man. That's awesome. Alnarth as well. Dude, thank you for the two months on Twitch. Amazing. I love it. You guys are on it today. This is awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's great for me. <laughs> uh, what's going on in the chat? Sorry. Start for start the frame for the clamps away from the thrusters. A block, then connect to each thruster through piping. But it's interesting you mention that AC because I just had the exact same thought. Not, not to connect with piping though, but to connect with um, interconnecting sort of blocks. <laughs> that doesn't really make any sense. But yeah, it's interesting you mention that because that's literally what just occurred to me as well. So you got these like little. Um, thruster port details here which would be ideal starting place for something like these blocks here All right and then oh no it doesn't work like that does it it works like <sighs> oh that sucks if I can have that one upside down but on the lower half of that block that'd be amazing but then obviously it doesn't work like that okay well if I get rid of these then just start with the thicker one it's kind of a bit odd I think Ooh. oh seriously it's misbehaving today quite significantly That's how we connect to the wing. And then we've still got the same problem where we've got a three block, um, three block slope, and we don't have three block slopes. Uh, The option is something like that.
Uh, yeah, it's a tricky one. And off, loving the Project Eden on YouTube. Thank you, sir. I am loving it as well. It is a lot of fun. Uh, oh, and also, thank you very much for gifting a sub. That's amazing. Captain Jack Sparrow, thanks you, I'm sure. Um, yeah, dude, that's really nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> Dollars greater than pounds. Go well. Ah, probably. Not long now. There's a core game. <laughs> yeah. Comedy fingers tonight. Oh man, they're going all over the shop. <laughs> you know, let's find this build. Let's give it this. Glass windows and fuel tanks inside. Uh, great trick. Um, I don't know which bit you're referring to, but thanks. Yeah. Joda, by the way, Sponge, don't know if you get a new notification, but you've got a new patron. Joda, thank you very much, sir. I assume that was you. <laughs> Can this even fit in a CV? Hmm. It might fit on the landing deck of the old super lifter. I don't think it will fit in the hangar though. No, it won't fit in the hangar. <laughs> It'll fit on the deck. Just about, I reckon. Yeah, it'd be a shame to cover up those engines again, but... <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to from the bottom. Um... I need that. Although it could be, uh, be that one. Because I wanted to, obviously, these these um, cargo pods. They sort of have the effect that they, or well, they, they might look like they they fold out in order to drop the um, container down. So. I wanted to make the engines at the back here look like there's plenty of room for this to fold out and tuck under there, underneath there, which I think that does quite well now. So, <clears throat> okay, let's seal top up later. That's fine. Okay, I think this is going to be good actually because I think this this is going to create a large sort of cavity under these engines, which would be an ideal place to put some fuel tanks, RCSs. drama like I say is these weird gaps that you get between these engines now but we got some weird gaps already because of these wings uh, which one was that, was it? So we need to make the top section look a bit more sturdy, I think. 
this needs to come back. Um, <clears throat> it's a tricky one. Is there a connecting block for that? Top. No, not really. I don't think there is a connecting block for that. Son of a bitch. Any one that comes to mind, maybe this one, but that's got a weird overlap as well. That one, um, yeah. I don't need the one for that. Okay, well, we just have to continue it and then start the slope back a little bit later. It's fine. I think if I start it, the problem is if I start it there, it's definitely going to look like it's going to interfere or collide. Well, actually, would it? I don't think it would, actually. Let's try it and see what it looks like. Oops. Let's do, let's just do two of these. Uh. Mm -hmm. So then this, this section at the top here needs to be bulked out a little bit. <clears throat> do you need it? What's up, dude? Welcome along. Spanish, would you prefer being subbed on Twitch or Patreon? Um, Patreon take less of a cut. <laughs> so selfishly. Uh, <laughs> Patreon. Uh, no block for that. Enable text? Yep, absolutely. Uh, Kidin, how much cargo are you looking to carry in this build? 320 KSUs worth of cargo. Um, Oh no, thank you dude, that's amazing. Right, how do I get to your Patreon now? Uh, Patreon.com forward slash spange. Um, oh, I've missed a lot on YouTube, sorry. <laughs> this project will be to build a CV that it can fit inside. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> uh, I like the look of that so far, thanks Frank. I realize it would give my actual name. Yeah, Patreon's a bit cheeky like that. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I didn't, really, didn't mean to read it, read it out on there. Nobody can remember what it is. Fine. Um, I have very low FPS. Steve? I'm hitting 50 while looking, 45 while looking directly at the super lifter. And then I'm going to have to retrofit, which I have a lot of triangles. Um, PR apps development. Interesting name. Your work is outstanding, Mr. Spanch. Oh, thank you, sir. That is very, very kind of you to say. Plum Gobbler. Brilliant name. <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? Uh, AB, thanks for checking in. See you later, dude. Take it easy. Um, Austin Hunter looks beautiful. Thank you, Austin. It, it is kind of looking like a nacer. Well, that was kind of the idea. I wanted them to look nacelly in, in a way. Um, yeah, I definitely need that structure on the top to mirror the sort of thickness of that really and then it will look like those engines are actually held by something so if I bring this over we can use the standard block combination here I 
get that upward sort of slope going on. I need to go back a few more actually. Oop, hello. All I can say is thank goodness for symmetry mode because if I have to do this twice, it's killer. Uh, okay, I think actually there should be good. So oh, we set that man. We're halfway. We're the wrong side of the shape. was a transition for that, but I can't remember what it is now. There isn't, is there? I'm making it up. It's all in my head. I'm going crazy. I can't see the blocks anymore. Um, how many tons does SU equal to? I don't know. It depends. Because um, there's mass and volume. SU is the volume, and then... Yeah, it changes depending on the item, I think. Um, replace blocks this thing with carbon it'll save so much weight yes then it falls apart <laughs> it's got to be able to deal with the weight right we'll do it from here then What is that? Is that you? That one? Yeah. Nice. I think we put a little bit more height on that and it will look fairly reasonable. <laughs> it's funky. <laughs> this looks a bit funny. <laughs> Cool. 
All right, we need to outline uh, the rear fuselage. So, we're we gonna come down about there, come across. Ooh, easy. We need to get a warp drive back here as well. So, let's say, bring it down a bit. We're about there. A bit of nightshade in the back of this. <laughs> Hell yeah! Alright. So there's our basic box. Obviously we'll shape it and stuff. <clears throat> a bird of prey fuselage. I thought that as well. Yeah, it's a bit sort of wing-like, isn't it? I don't like it. Especially with that nose. The pointy nose. It's a cargo turkey! <laughs> Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, where am I? Now you're learning about wings. <laughs> CV would be de dedicated it's livestock box. transport day and <laughs> cattle, cattle guard galactica. Brilliant. <laughs> After run, but it was great watching your genius in action. Well, I don't know about that. Spanish, looking forward to seeing this fly in one of your episodes. Joel, thank you very much, sir. Uh, thanks for dropping in as well. Have a good day. Anthony Shaddox. It's the great Italian builder. The great Spangino. <laughs> Spangino. That wouldn't be my Italian name. Dude, fluff with a bit. Awesome. Thank you very much. Alnoff and Joda, dude. For the Patreon pledges. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. That's awesome. Amazing. <laughs> Today is a good day. Obviously, I've got the sympathy vote for having a sore throat and being here anyway. So, uh, yeah. Expect me to be ill on every stream from now on. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Uh, I need those ships for my Spangy build project, Eden. Well, these ones. They're all on the workshop. Uh, just trying to think. Is there one that isn't? No, they are all on the workshop. Apart from the Reaver's Fate there. That's a Patreon exclusive, that one. But yeah, other than that. Right, how do we how do we do this then? Right, uh, I think probably going to do the same tactic that we did for the uh, front. Let's get everything kind of big and stupid in, in inside first, and then figure out how we shape it around that. Because uh, what we got is a corridor here that I'm going to have to lead. Like, well, I don't know whether to put another entrance here. I'm going to opt not to. Um, I, th I think it would be just too much. But what I do need is to lower this down, I believe. So let's do that. Um, oh, where did you go? No. Behave yourself. <laughs> that one? Yeah, nailed it twice. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it! Right. 
<laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Is that because I literally just said it? <laughs> so what's going on here? <laughs> um, a fiery heart. Thank you very much for following, sir. Very cool, very cool. Much appreciated. Um, and what we might be able to do, because I've drawn a box here, but I'm not going to literally stick to this box shape. It's literally so I know the sort of space that I have to work into. Um, but what I need to get in here is a warp drive. Um, obviously, Pentaxid tank. A gazillion fuel tanks. Um, and about three billion generators as well. Drew the ogre, what's up, dude? Spange, a big mug of tea. <laughs> uh, do you think Elion will fix the gravity plane in space? I hate when you are in zero G and align to an artificial plane contrary to the position of your ship. Yes. But only because I don't really fully understand the question. Uh, <laughs> um, I did get to on YouTube. Contemplate your hello, dude. Welcome along, Adam Rigoli. Welcome. Uh, the wing just doesn't fit in. Besides, it's not functional. Well, the one that I put on the top. Ah, that's right. I'll make it work. Don't worry. Uh, I am really in game, mate. Just my Google account doesn't match up. Oh, right. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> Frank Welling, what's up, dude? Was going to say it should be able to fit a hover miner, but then I remembered that that will take a while still. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Might be 10.6. Is the box a landing bay? No, no, it's just an outline, dude. I'll take it off soon. Um, if you put a smaller wing on the front part, it'll look e it'll it'll even the look out a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No worry, we'll get we'll take it back to the front and I'll do stuff like that. Make it rounded so it's not blocky. Tiki, uh, hello, how, how, very good, sir. How are you? Welcome along. <laughs> Ellie Jones, what's up, dude? <laughs> I'm trying to get through. Uh, with a bit of a sore throat, but I'm alright. It's the epic Imperion soundtrack has got my back, though. So Red Baron did something uh, with his warp drive in the cargo SV, and I kind of want to steal that idea a little bit because it looked awesome. And just have a normal warp drive there. And then I think he basically used a mixture of I need to combine these blocks a second. Glass. <clears throat> I'm going to use armoured and railings. Oh, I'm so lost. There we go. Was it just glass then? No, was it? Was it? No, I think it was. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> Can't remember. I don't want to like pinch it completely. I'm just inspired by, it, I suppose. Dope. Um, <clears throat> yeah. We'll do more of that later and stuff. We don't really need to do it at the moment. Uh, let's figure out. Let's box this off a second. Box that off. Can we transition that?
Do we want to transition that way? Or do we want to splan splanch? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Somebody help me. Help me. Uh, dying. Splange block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Splange, blo Splange block this up. Alright. It's official. That's his new name. Theory, I should be using like carbon substrate for interior stuff, really. Keep the cost down, but like I said, this is just a bit of fun. <clears throat> this is just a bit of fun. Right, so that's kind of. I don't really think I need much more interior space than that because in the front here, um, we've got a lot of interior space in here that's going to be used, especially down in this section here for constructors and fridges and, and deco and stuff. So I don't need space at the back for constructors and all that sh shenanigans. Do you need shield generator though? That would be good good to get in there now. Because uh, that's a bit of a beast in bit of kit. Can we fit that on top of the warp drive there? And then do something funky with it? Can we span to block that as well? Where is it? <laughs> a bit much. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that is cool. <laughs> nice. Oh, we just need a pentaxid tank somewhere. I don't know where to put it. <clears throat> uh, loose. He means if your ship isn't aligned to the plane and you get out of your seat, you'll be sideways or whatever the plane alignment is. Oh. Uh, cool. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> it's the splange block. Yep. Adam Rigoli, what's up, dude? Welcome along. Have I said hello to you already? I can't even remember now. I'm just going through. Um, if the back end gets shot with that stuff in it, it will go nuclear. Do you know what? That's actually something I really wish they add into the game when warp drives get boom boom, that they go boom boom, you know, properly. They have a massive explosive radius and a nice graphical effect to go with it. I think that would be awesome. Um, steal away, sir. Thank you, Red Baron. <laughs> I did not realize that this SV was going to be so damn huge. Yeah, she's a big one. More sponge blocks. <laughs> they will help kill you. <laughs> I got dude. Thank you very much for the two dollars, man. That's awesome. Stick pent tank on the ceiling before shield. Yeah, could do. Could do that, Dreamweaver. Could do that. Make a hole in the floor with a glass over it. Could do that as well, but I'm pretty sure that you'd get radiation from that. <laughs> uh, Zeldery, what's up, dude? How are you, Spanish? Been watching you for a bit. Like the content, throwing truck at Walmart right now, so just going to be listening to you chat. Have fun. Throwing a truck at Walmart. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's Walmart. What do you want? Uh, like the way you think. Dag, Greg. 
Now, the only problem with putting this on a ceiling, Mr. Dream Weaver, is that it's then very, very close to the top. I remember my kid, and this isn't even combat worthy in the slightest. Why not just do it? Stop, stop, stop going on about it. There you go. Yeah, it works. I'll build something over the top of it, it'll be fine. It'll build like a big giant satellite dish <laughs> or something. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start the fuel tank. Um, and the generators will go. Well, fuel tanks can go underneath and the generators go on top. How about that? I could get a hell of a lot more fuel tanks in if I if I clump them up. I could clump them up into rather than doing this. I could clump them up into groups. Um, and now an individual group would chain react, but not the whole lot. And then I might be able to squeeze more in that way. A better way of doing it. <clears throat> I'd definitely get more in that way. I think you get clumps of twelve. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Now that I've just placed all these. Okay, so a clump of 12 would be... Let's see. either <laughs> this is why I've put so many fuel tanks in my thing let's do it this way take a look at this room chat's time to eat Al North thank you very much for joining me today much appreciated thank you very much for uh, um, the Patreon pledge as well very kind of you sir have a good evening Spanish what items do chain react fuel tanks um, ammo boxes and weapons I think guns and RCS's don't I don't think generators do I could be wrong um, if anybody knows generators do they chain react I don't think they do warp drive chain reacts
Alright, there's going to be a bigger block in the middle. Many fuel tanks. <laughs> oh, two tanks. God damn, yeah. Good point. We'll get some of those in there as well. We don't actually need as many O2 tanks. Um, because obviously, oxygen is still used at the same rate despite this ship size. Uh, right, generators. I'll do the same thing, I think, with these guys as well. I'll space these out in groups of six, I think. We got a bunch of RCSs as well fit in here as well somewhere. Too much lower because I'm going to slow, I'm going to curve the uh, the hull round down there. Um, I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to blend from these wings and engines into this yet. Figure that out in a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of this space back here is going to be used for us. Yes, but let's do that now because I think, to be honest. Given the size of this thing and the weight, I'm going to need many, many RCSs. <laughs> Let's do something else now. I have to. I love this. Sh love how this ship looks so far. I will see you later, Tuki. Later, dude. Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, I might do. That might do. I'm literally going to line this <laughs> with RCSs. Well, I'm going to block that off first of all because there's some giant holes there. some flaring on the back here to blend these in. Be alright. We'll, we'll fluff it up. It'll look fine. Two tanks. What is it then? Who was that one? Is that that one? Yeah, it is that one. It's getting very confused. So that will probably do from an O2 point of view. Three blocks. 
Your block's high, yep. Yeah. That's head height. You're literally running your head along those O2 tanks. to shape this thing all right let's do one proper wall I think between there and there I think we can run this all the way back to there to kind of visualize with this <clears throat> excuse me with this bloody cage around it now I've got the internal components there I might need to add more fuel tanks and stuff when we come to test it generators I suspect probably generators almost certainly generators all right um this is gonna be really difficult to curve in <laughs> I have no idea <laughs> how to do this. I don't think you could transition from part. <sighs> Screw it. Just don't even bother. <clears throat> Sometimes a bit of lumpiness is absolutely fine. You don't need to worry about perfect lines all the time. Mainly because if you do, you will go mad. Sennies? <laughs> uh, <coughs> Kennies? Kennies? Uh, hey, the first time I managed to get you online to watch, Spanish. Hey, welcome along. Welcome along. 
Um, hang on, YouTube's doing a bit of moderating. Um, dear God, that is a metric ton of RCSs. She's going to be a fatty with massive engines to get that fat ass into space. <laughs> is it more efficient to use small or big O2 tanks or fuel? Uh, I think it's better to use the big ones. I think they store more than if you had... So if you had a T3 fuel tank, it stores more than if you had four T1 fuel tanks, basically. And only one size for SVs, bud. ABP, hi, Spange and chat. How's the wives and kids? Kids? What kids? Oh. Don't say things like that. Jesus. The wife is wonderful, as always. Thanks for asking. Um... <laughs> uh, First pronounce was C, sound not Q, and thanks for welcome. So, Senis? Senis? <laughs> yeah, it is a cargo ship anyway. Streamlined is not usually associated with cargo transport. Quite right. Quite right, sir. There we go. Right. So, um, I'm upside down. This is really difficult. Oh, uh, which way does it go around? Does it? Is it even that one? I don't think it is. It is. No, what I'm doing. Does that work? Not really. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Why am I getting there? Why am I getting there? Yeah. No. I don't know. Oh. Hey, yeah, your time to shine, my friend. more curviness actually. Let's see if we can get this to more curves. Curves I'll probably remove end up removing at some point but <laughs> oh, the cost of this thing is going to be ludicrous. <laughs> uh, awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can sort these engines out. What time are we at? Nine. Cool. <clears throat> Lunacy. these engines so I want to tart them up a little bit um, using these railing blocks is quite cool so <laughs> line them up that helps <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I can't. No, these are the funny shaped ones. They go. These go all right on like these, as they're two by two. These are not. These are three by three. Oh no, these won't work. Oh, that buggers everything up. That does. Um, what works here then? Nothing. Nothing works. <clears throat> oh, my throat. Oh, struggling now. All right, let's let's try something then. Let's let's bring you back a few blocks, you back a few blocks, you back a few blocks, um, and then I'm gonna lower you down. Where's all my blocks gone? Too flimsy. Uh, what's going on? <clears throat> now leave the drive plumes exposed. Looks even more cargo-ish. Just cut it. How far did I? What's up, dude? Welcome along. At least you were able to make the janky wings work well. <laughs> wings are looking pretty awesome. Whole. We were the whole ship, really. Love the look of these big ass thrusters. Yeah, man, they look so good, don't they? As uh, one thing, Elian did a very good job on getting those thrusters looking pretty sweet. <clears throat> God damn. The flaps aren't looking particularly flap like.
that actually has a flap on it, that one. But it's too small. Oh, they all are. Well, at least you're three by three, but... Yeah, you're too big that way. And only two that way. Oh, that's a shame. Might look alright anyway. Yeah, these flat things aren't working anyway. Let's take these off a second. Um, a Peregrine Falcon fish lifter. <laughs> Thanks, Luz. Uh, Baron, what's up, dude? He says, Good evening, Sponge. You are one of my favorite potatoes. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes, I gave up my potatoing a while ago, but uh, I'm glad, uh, glad there's some, some potato fans still out there. anymore. It's going to be a little while to figure this one out. Um, not quite sure how to do it. I want to give these thrusters a little bit more flair, but without obviously detracting from their existing looks. Just to enhance, not to Take away from. matching wing block positions and related to your awesome ship if you gargle warm salt water it'll help with the throat <laughs> get gooder soon dude <laughs> thanks Ellie where's the pipes the pipes will come do not worry the pipes go on later now copy the above There was a square version of this. But there is not. Oh, I was going to say, the engine gone missing as well. Wait, how far back did that go disappear? Oh, not this again. Oh, no, not this again. It has actually just gone, hasn't it? When did I get rid of that? <laughs> oh, it's gone invisible. Thank you. 
I don't know, I'm going to have to come back to that, I think. I'm not sure that it's really working for me at the moment. Alright, let's see if we can blend this in a little bit better. Uh, God, dear. Yeah, this is... Uh, whew. Uh, I've got to place a lot of blocks. Definitely should think the shift key on my keyboard giving up the ghost. Not behaving. Deco or something. Um, these are quite good for little gaps like that. Don't have the blocks. Grebble it. Little gaps like that. I'm going to save. This is going to be ideal for putting extra RCSs and stuff in if we need to add to later. <clears throat> bits and bobs. Oh, bits and bobs. Who's chucking bits around now? Johnny, dude! Amazing, thank you very much for the 100 bits, sir. That's very kind. <laughs> Getting the back of this thing to actually look half decent is going to be a mission. Serious mission.
<clears throat> Try to slow this down a bit. Start one back. Down. Like that. for this bit here. <clears throat> All right, I have to do it guys. I'm gonna have to do it. My last throat sweet of July. We've got a whole other pack here. Mmm. <laughs> I do apologize if I'm crunch or make weird sucky noises into the microphone henceforth. Well I put it off as long as I could. Hmm. It's going really hard. <laughs> it's, it's like <clears throat> How to turn a box of crap into a good looking box of crap. Um, I suspect we're going to have several uh, editions of this, this thing. Editions, renditions. This looks like the super lifter's baby sister. <laughs> uh, snap. We're kicking off in Twitch chat. Um, oh, what's, um, it's so aggressively shaped for cargo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't, I mean, yeah. With the front, we're going to... Um, we need to widen the front a bit in order to not make it look like some weird attachment has been slapped on the back. At the moment, the shape doesn't quite work, um, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We'll do some some flare and some wings on the front here and widen it out a little bit, and it'll look fine. <clears throat> but yeah, you know, think about Firefly was a cargo ship and that thing was well shaped I only have to take this in I should have a funny idea nah I know what it is too much sorry I thought when I um, instead of having a box on the back create pods like fuel pods on the underside but uh, just too much There's an opportunity here though, maybe. <clears throat> Phallic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll even it out, all right? Yes, it looks like a giant cock at the moment, but don't worry about it. I'll, um, Sort it out. 
Not like that. You know what I mean. Oh, bollocks. So I had a crazy thought. Bear with. It's gonna be one of these builds, I think, where it's just we add some and then we lose some and then we add some and so on and so on. Power blocks again. to calm it down <laughs> um dragon tech what's up man welcome along i'm kicking off over on twitch it's <laughs> gonna be a fight i mean there already was a fight we lost So going on that kind of like fuel pot idea I had, but instead of like lots of small ones, just one giant one, <clears throat> just on the bottom. curvature of the the wings basically <laughs> Might need to cover you back up there a bit. quite good because it would create another cavity um, for us to build into. Don't know how we're going to curve that like the rest of that. I don't think it's possible. I mean 
that shape there. That's definitely not possible. That does not exist. Don't bring us weight. Fortunately, this shape does exist though. And they call it the sponge block. Boo yeah. Thank you very much. They should rename that in the game. <laughs> Cause my ego needs more. <laughs> Now, how do we get this giant fuel pod on the bottom here to look like it detaches? Eh? <laughs> Challenge number two. Um. <laughs> this man should have a block named after him. Hell yes! Let's campaign Elyon for it. Let's go. Corner round B should be renamed Spent Block. <laughs> yes. I actually know if it's possible to get something this huge to make it look like it just clips on the bottom. I should be pursuing that, to be honest. Or I should just get on with it. I think 
what I need to do is finish the basic shape and then and then I'll have an idea of what I want to do with it. At the moment it's really difficult to imagine or see any shape in this thing. I just sort of I keep bouncing around from one thing to another, um, not really achieving anything. So <clears throat> basic shape. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to do a lot of piping. <laughs> we're gonna have to do a lot of piping later. Um, hang on, sorry, I missed a lot of messages. Curve it, uh, curve it into add more depth. Um, what's the resources of this so far? Let's have a look. Uh, we are size class six, five thousand eight hundred iron. <clears throat> A lot. <laughs> 378 tons. Size class 6SV. God damn. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, because that's that's the other thing as well, isn't it? We need to we need to test this thing. We need to test it.
Another Spanish block. <clears throat> oh yeah. <clears throat> I wanted to make um that look a little bit like a warp kind of thing. <laughs> a warp thing. Um I think it's gonna be too big to add a second one. If I move it along though, let's use the selection tool here. Cut, paste, 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 paste. Got two. Add in. Some piping. Lock that off. Oh, crikey. Yeah, we're out of time already. What am I missing? Nothing. Good. Okay. The core is in a funny place, <laughs> but it works. Um, that took 300 fusion cells. Doesn't seem like enough. It's on. We still don't have any. Oh, God. No. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Thank you, Merlin. Yes. <laughs> Could have pointed it out fucking sooner, couldn't you? Bloody. Uh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Di, 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 di. <laughs> You're welcome, <laughs> oh, bastard. Peen, 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 peen. So that would fit in there, wouldn't it? Would that would give us an excuse to widen it as well, wouldn't it? <clears throat> it's gonna screw with the looks, but whatever. <sighs> Symmetry. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out later. It'll be fine. Um. <laughs> Don't believe it. Oh, listen to that roar, though. <laughs>
<laughs> I thought it turned symmetry on. Did I turn it back off again? I ain't gonna turn. Ain't gonna turn for cookies at all. In just the one. Now we've got a bit of side. <laughs> we haven't got very much down, but. Uh... Shouldn't need that. Gravity will do the rest, and we'll uh, we'll figure out how to shape that another time. Oh, she moves though. <laughs> Look at my frame drops. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Beep beep, motherfucker! <laughs> Damn, she shifts. All right. God damn! What is this thing I'm flying? <laughs> <clears throat> Do you think size class six is big? Wait until we've actually added all the the flare and the fluff and the piping. <laughs> this is gonna go mental. <laughs> Ventilation and lights. Yeah, we'll get there. Band, if you need your text number, this shouting at the screen, hoping you'll read it before you realise your mistake is just too slow. <laughs> yeah. It's band flange. <laughs> Should have at least a block. Yeah, brilliant. Just forbid the world word block and replace it with sponge. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> is this really an SV? It looks big. No! Well, yes, it is. It is really an SV. We're going into atmosphere, people. Squeaky mouse and everything. Lag. How's our power usage? Alright. So initial initially seems good. Obviously it turns reasonably well, but then this is zero weight. This is just dry weight. Power usage twenty-four. Okay, this thing is ridiculous. They got the front door open. <laughs> Alright, let's check its landing. We're coming in hot. Oh, lag, lag, lag. Yeah, we are on the ground. And everything is level. Landing gear has worked. It's stable. All right, fine. <clears throat> now then, uh, stream this way. Now then, uh, wait some volumes. Wait some volumes. Where are you? WV test. I might get shot straight away. By the way, I'm <laughs> just just warning. <laughs> <laughs> that got me quick with GM. I think I logged out right in front of about 50 drones. That's an unknown command. God mode enabled. Hey drones. Don't mind me. <laughs> right. Uh, we need to go somewhere else. What's the gravity? We're 0.53. Let's go somewhere like... Lava. 
Gravity, 4G, that's a bit of a harsh test. 99G, Baron, that'll do. Basically 1G. 4G is a bit of a savage test. <clears throat> if you crashed into anything, it could be a sex offender. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's bring you in. Plonk. Oh, I've already got a bunch. Never mind. Don't really need the O2. Um, going to suffocate. I don't have... I need to be out of god mode. <sighs> Son of a... Oh, survival mode, you bastard. Controller. Actually, let's go back to that one. There we go. Top that up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's two kilotons each. Yeah, it's ain't lifting that. I can tell you now, I ain't lifting it. <laughs> That's full, full thrust. Wait, is it? Why aren't the engines firing? Am I sat in the passenger seat or something stupid like that? No. Uh, is it? Trust is on. Everything's on. There's a the slightest wiggle in the thing. But why aren't the uh, thrusters even bothering? Because it's just, they know it's, <laughs> it's like no chance. Uh, it, is that where you spawn the drone through a screenshot? It is, Merlin, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a command to equip armor, I think, help armor. Oh, okay, sorry, missed that really. That, yeah, the thrusters aren't even firing though, I don't understand it. Pressing buttons. Nothing's happening. Not even trying though, that's the weird thing. Huh. What the hell? Right, well. Let's try, can I get in and out? Does that, that works, that's fine. Kicks me out in a weird place. No, no, now I'm stuck. I have to move this uh, cockpit block back because, because Imperial. <laughs> Why? Why, Elion? Why? Why? Nope. <laughs> All right, fine. All right. Let's empty some of these then and see if we can find it's lift capacity. Really? Oh, wakey wakey. Right. You are alive then. That will break on. Right, you're in the in the air. I'm still floating for some reason. Oh, what would break? What would break on? There we go. 
level. Yep. Oh. Wow. That's what it is, is it? What we break on level. Seriously? Two kilotons. And you're done. You're off, are you? You're done. What is the point of you? Come on. <laughs> are you kidding me? Come on. Use that beautiful rear thrust. How'd it go? <laughs> one G, one G. Wow. Two kilotons. <laughs> My test was Right, cargo SVs are crap, lol. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bits and bobs. <laughs> I don't know, I think she's falling now. Yep. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> nope, she's still falling. <laughs> oh, crap. There she is. Alright, so that giant monstrosity can lift a total of 1.96 kilotons. <laughs> and costs 6,000 iron, 2,000 copper. In, by comparison, the, uh, let's see, long hauler, 4,000 iron, <laughs> 1,100 copper. And can lift uh, a lot. <laughs> 85 kilotons, actually. I've got it in the, got it in the thumbnail. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Definitive answer. Is it worth building cargo SVs? No. No, it is not. And so this was a complete and total waste of time. <laughs> An RP value out the wazoo, yeah, yeah. If you want to haul a CVs are the way to go. That's still holding a lot of combat still. Well, 490 blocks. And 0.8 meters a second. Uh, I tell you what, fuel capacity though, look at that. 1,109 1, minutes at max thrust. Yep. <laughs> this is a complete waste of time. There we go. Let's get those rear thrusters involved.
<laughs> it's safe to say that Elion did that on purpose. If I don't come across one of those sab sites that are on this planet, you know, missile. <laughs> How do you delete box? In creative mode, shift right click, dude. Did you think SV would make a great hauler? <laughs> no, I didn't think it would make a great hauler. I thought it could lift a little bit more than that, though, in fairness. Uh, it's taken all that just to get the equivalent cargo one full CV container extension. Now, this was always just a bit of fun. Just messing around. What? How far can we take it? Well, there we go, we've taken it beyond, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I don't think there's any point in finishing this. It's useless. Completely and totally useless. That way around, there we go. It's going to take about an hour to stop. We've only got two thrusters on the up. <laughs> oh dear. Got to go, but be safe and be well, Sponge. And chat. Space Nerds Unite. See you later, Eddie. Thanks for joining, mate. Appreciate it. Of course there is. This looks pretty. Turn it into a personal carrier. Could be a supply vessel for a huge CV to go to planet. What I might turn it into, in fairness, is if I ditch the cargo extensions out the middle um, and just have an empty cavity in there I need to check it I and mean, we can maybe do this next stream uh, for width but I wonder if it can become a HV carrier to carry HVs up into space where I can get two HVs in there two decent sized ones I need to check it for width though because I need I'm not sure I've got many HVs that are that thin. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Absolute insanity. Proven. Stupid. <laughs> Still quite cool looking. But yeah. Can you show the stats page? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> One meters a second <laughs> up thrust. 23.2 mega newtons down. <laughs> it's got good pitch roll and your <laughs> crap everything else. Um, does it have a bathroom in the shop? It could be a wambulance. Brilliant. Well, it's a lift HVs. Yeah, there you go. If you, it, I think if you just moved the thrusters apart, it would work better. Okay. It took nearly 250 fusion cells to fully tank up. <laughs> yeah, it did. And uh, it's it's uh, it's not bad. It's still got plenty of fuel. But yeah, she is ridiculous in every sense of the word. So there we go. I still like this corridor though. To the warp drive. Oh, the noise back here. The noise is real. All oh, the humming. <laughs> Well, I'll have a think about it. I might ditch her, but I might turn her into a HV carrier. Because I think, um, I think the weight of doctor vessels is going to be taken into account soon. And well, actually, uh, my hover tanks, well, they're never in the kilotons range, uh, but they might be if you start combining them. So let me have a look at... The Hydra, I think, is just going to be too wide. It's just stupid. But the demon tank, I think, will fit nicely. 
that is doesn't say <laughs> Can't spawn in space either, can I? Um that I think is like eighty tons. Where's he got the archer? The archer might fit actually. Um, quite a wide feet, but it's quite high, which means it would be ideal for slotting into that. Let's pop down. Where's the bloody planet? <laughs> ah! Too far away! Oh, it's disabled. Take me back onto Zemp. Hey, Zemp! There's a planet called Zemp. Any relation? <laughs> Archer is you, my friend. One hundred sixty-nine tons, right? You can take two of that, no problem. Even laden with cargo. Um, the Demon Mark Two is even smaller than that. Uh, Sixty-eight tons, yeah. The archer might be just a tad too wide with these gun pods on the side. Uh, hearing noises. The demon might be alright. So will the little little Danny. Uh, where is it? Sk sk sk. Sh sh sh. The hell is it? Did I call it the skimmer? No, I didn't. Oh, I know what it is. Evo Skimitar. A little tiny Skimitar. She's so cute. <laughs> she would definitely fit in there. So yeah, could turn it into a tank carrier. In fact, as a Titanic it was ridiculous too. It sank. <laughs> uh, down for us is awesome. Fly upside down. <laughs> yeah, that works. Oh dear. Right. Yeah, I'll have a think about that. We'll either continue or, or ditch it or convert it into something. But uh, as a cargo SV, no, it's uh, completely useless. Oh, God, where's it gone? I don't even know where it is. There it is. <clears throat> nope, there it is. There we go. But yeah. That's a stream, guys. Thank you very much for joining me today. Really appreciate it. Um, it's always always good fun building with you guys so thank you very much for joining me um, <laughs> big shout out to everybody for all the bits and the pledges and the subs and everything in between the donations um, Sig BA Joseph Darun uh, Major Tom Alnareth I think he's here Lee Cartwright Bits and Bobs uh, Joda Fluff John A and Captain Moore. Operator Hoot in the last second there, 100 bits. Thank you very much, everybody. It was much appreciated. You guys are uh, awesome. Thank you very much for joining me today. Sorry for the sore throat. Thank you for putting up with that. Hopefully, I'll see you next Sunday for our next Chill in the Building or a see during the week for some Project Eden. Uh, next episode, Tuesday for Project Eden. Um, final episode of Volcanoids on Monday and then the rest of the week, Project Eden up to Friday. Enjoy. Have a great rest of your Sunday if you've got any. Have a wonderful week. Thanks, guys. Bye. Where's the button? Lost it. I've alt tabbed all over the shop. Yes, I'm out of it. Somebody help me. Yeah.